Oh boy, it has been a while, far too long. What's been happening? Why haven't there been videos? Well, um, uh, long story short, my, uh, my w Windows installation corrupted, so I couldn't use my computer. And then I got it reinstalled, and then my headphones stopped working, the only way that I can get sound. So I had to order a new headphone cable, and then after I ordered a new headphone cable, I literally moved houses from one house to the next, so that took up a lot of time. And then, you know, the headphone cable had to get forwarded, it got a little shuffled around in the mail, and it finally came here and I finally got everything set up, and I had to start everything over again, because... you know... Windows 10 installation. Anyway... Give me just one moment here, I gotta make sure my controls are correct, because now that I've said that, I just realized that, uh, this might be terrible. One second. Lo and behold, yes, those would have been all messed up, but okay. This is Town and Country Surf Designs Wood and Water Rage. I have never played this game, but I've heard a lot of people say it's kind of terrible. I'm, quite frankly, I'm not surprised at all. So, you know, I guess we'll just start with a street skate session, because, you know, wood and water rage, and you got surfing and you got skateboarding, apparently. Who do we want to play as? We'll play as this Pompadour guy, I guess. I don't know what you're supposed to do in this game, naturally. I don't know what the controls are. Okay, well, seems very simple. I think it only uses about two buttons. Yes, this game, I forgot to mention, it is... Well, there we go, we're dead. Hold on, let me pull up real quick just to confirm. It is... Yes, published by LJN and developed by Atlas. The dynamic duo. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, we're gonna count this as, uh, you know, the jitters for having been gone for a while. Well, I thought that was a ramp, but no, I just kind of, uh, died, so game over. I expect it. You know, a super quick game over to get your bearings? That's normal. I guess we'll just spend like 20 minutes on each of these little games in here, I mean, that sounds perfectly reasonable to me. Oh yeah, I should have gone down to get the coin, you know. I don't know what the coin is good for, but if it's there, you know it's got to be good for something. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell you something. The hit detection is a little, uh, it's a little odd. Okay, there we go, we made that. I was able to cheat death. Okay, that I'm not gonna get, I guess. Okay, oh, okay, okay, we do have to actually hit B to pump and get going a little bit faster. <laughs> it's not working out so well. I, I will say it's the first skateboarding game that we've played on this channel, so it by default has to be the best one. Let's try this other guy, you know, I'm sure that there's literally no difference. It's gotta all be purely cosmetic. So do we just like... Do we tap B? Ooh, the turbo button got me going quick. Yes, it looks to all be, for the most part, the same. Oh, Nailed by that frisbee. I want to figure that out, because those have got to be ramps, right? Like, I'd feel bad just ignoring them forever and never, you know, figuring out... <laughs> ...what secrets they hold, or maybe, maybe they genuinely just don't have any collision. You know, it's an LJN Atlas jam. I... I wouldn't be surprised at all if it was just nothing. <laughs> just something that they forgot to program. So what else has been up with me, you ask? Oh, hey, great. Uh, I no longer have to tell you, oh, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla 100 times an episode because I finished that. 130 hours or something like that, and I, uh, made it to the end. Uh, I'm now playing Cyberpunk. Some people, you know, the, some people are not very happy. Well, what do you do there? Hold on. That's not it. Maybe... Wait, is it both buttons at the same time? Can we, like, kick clip? No. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I started Cyberpunk 2077. 
I know a lot of people are very upset about the state that the game launched in, and from a bug perspective, I get it. Obviously, you want a game to launch in a completed state. At the same time, though, there are other there are other criticisms where people are like, it's just not a good game at all, and that I don't think I can agree with. I it's it has to be a ramp. You have to be able to go over that. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I think most of the criticisms that people give it are people who are, like, expecting it to be more of like a... <laughs> what the heck? More of like a cyberpunk life simulator, and that's... that's not what it is. You know, like, that's... that's just... Oh, I see! We hold back, and then we jump. Okay, and then we can kind of... Yeah, 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 I get you. That's... you know... Still better off ignoring the ramps. I know. Here I am, playing town and country surf designs, wood and water rage, and I instantly start talking about Cyberpunk 2077. Can you blame me? It's been almost a full three weeks since an upload, and, you know, I got so many things to say. Don't blow it all in one episode. You know, I still got a Master System episode to do, too. I can, I can only apologize for, you know, the complete lack of content. At the same time, <laughs> it's pretty much all out of my control. Like, very little I can do about Windows 10 corrupting and then headphones breaking. And, you know, I can do everything about moving, but hey, I wanted I wanted a new house. Now I've got it. Ah, come on, man. Okay, this is gonna be the farthest that we've gotten. Okay. So it's one of those games where everything is out to murder you at all times. <laughs> I'll, I'll say one thing, you know, I don't know much about the town and country brand. By that I mean I know virtually nothing about the town and country brand. But for being, you know, just kind of a nebulous extreme sports game, it's uh, it's it, it, it does have character to it. I mean, you know, you've got all the characters which I assume are town and country mascots or something similar. And, uh, I'll give a- I'll give it points for that, you know. It's... <laughs> why am I- why am I still trying with the ramps? Because I'm still not convinced that they're nothingness. Okay. Furthest we've made it. Good. <laughs> Fantastic. It's good to be back, what can I say? I, it's, you know, I don't know about you, but I get that thing where every time I move, I feel like... I'm not supposed to be in the place that I've moved. I'm like, this is not my home. This belongs to someone else. What am I doing here? And it takes me a little while to, you know, get out of that funk. But this, I think, this is gonna go a long way, you know, getting back into this... ...groove of releasing episodes. It's round two, but I think it's the same layout. It's looking... yeah, it's looking pretty much identical here. Ah, oh, you gotta jump with it or else your board will just get yeeted out from under you. I'm, as of right now, unsure how much of this game is, like, slightly unplayable and how much of it is just me kind of being bad. <laughs> it could be a, you know, a, a healthy combination of both. That, see, that stuff right there, that's just me being bad. I didn't, I didn't push back and jump properly, so I can't blame the game for that one. But then there's the whole argument of, uh, it may be hard, but is it at least slightly fun? So far, uh... uh <laughs> Play better games. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like I'm like, it wasn't even that many episodes ago that I played Wizards and Warriors, and we should be so much further than that. You know, like, more than anything, I'm mad at myself. 
that the series has gotten so far behind. You know, I'm like, we, sh we should be... We should be cruising through these libraries right there. Cruising like this dude in the, this pompadour is trying. Okay. I'm at least glad I figured that out, because I would have felt really, uh, kind of dumb if I just never... <laughs> found out how to uh, get over those barrels. I try my best to not pull a uh, games journalist moment where it's like, how do you not figure that out, man? Yes, I'm referring to the classic Cuphead video. If you know, you know. Look at that, 13,000. Round four, it's the same thing, but, you know. I don't know, it's, this ain't the worst thing ever, honestly. Compared to some other LJN jams, it's, it's... I think, oh, this might actually be... This is a different layout, finally! Okay! I just, you know, I'm messing it up a little bit. Different layouts... Those are well and truly accepted. Unfortunately, now I gotta, you know, figure it out. And I'm gonna have to start from the beginning every time and go through three rounds of a layout I've already done. Wait. Maybe it's the same. Never mind, it's actually the same. It just started a little bit earlier. <laughs> I think. That could even just be an illusion. Well, I was here thinking it was something new and exciting, but nope, I was I was debated the entire time. I'm gonna time out on this for sure. But at least I, you know, beat the internal high score, which is nothing to brag about. I wanna Make that very clear right now. I'm not saying that to flex. That's more of like the uh, bare minimum that you should hold yourself to in these old games. Yep, time out. Dang. Well, it's a good thing this game has, you know, three little games in it, because this for an hour would certainly get uh, a little mind-numbing. <laughs> I'd show you the two-player, but you know, I am but one person. Sorry, Pompadour Man, he's, he's my go-to. Most definitely. Miss me with that other dude. He's not... He has no power here. That happens every time, and I kinda hate it. There's got, I mean, there's gotta be a way to avoid it, you know? Can't just be a guaranteed death! Oh, ho, but on the contrary, it's LJN! It can be! Well, you got me there, man. I was actually, uh, talking to, um... Not quite my brother-in-law, but, um, um... The father of my... Nephew! I was talking about how, uh... This was one of the first video games he had. It was down in country surf designs. I was like, wow. Topical. So that was... That was an interesting... little take there. I'm like, how many guys do you meet? Where they're like, yeah, my first game. Town and country. <laughs> Although, I guess, you know, it's... It's one of those kind of, like, budget... Not quite bargain bin, but kind of bargain bin titles where it's not like everyone's... Jump at the bit for it, you know, you probably find it for cheaper and... ...in like a Blockbuster liquidation sales. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Blockbuster was alive and well back when this game came out. I can't, I can't throw that much shade. Look at that. Fell off my skateboard and went directly into the bottomless pit. I don't know why the time stopped, but I will take it. Oh, is that... Is that when you get to max life and time stops for you? Is that a thing? Just noticed that I hit eight yin-yangs. That must be it. Well, we're not gonna get there like that. Suffice to say. It's 
It's all right. Just you know, get healthier. Keep grabbing those coins. I, I don't. Do you? Am I regenerating health? Is that how that's? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Actually, this is one of the earliest examples of regenerating health that I've ever seen in a video game. So hey, it, 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 it's not all lost with town and country. And now we get infinite time so long as we can stay alive. Not gonna lie, the music's actually not bad. You know, for everything I heard about this game, it's only one third of a game, but so far it's it's not awful, you know? It's... The music starts out, you know, kind of not that great, but once it gets hype, it gets so hype, you know? Let's try to not do that. <laughs> when, when I said that, I, I actually meant let me just repeat it immediately. Oh, you high score, though. It's gotta come for something. I hope you'll appreciate the fact that I'm in a much quieter room as well. I actually have a finished basement now, so you don't hear the humming of the furnace and everything else in the background. Uh, it's a very nice change. If I want, I can even close the door. Because there is a door. What a concept. But no, then I'm, that's just asking for cats to scream at you the entire recording session. Got it. <laughs> nice. Got that frozen time already. Ooh, that felt real close. See, I, I'm getting better. I'm understanding this game. Of course, once I feel like I'm in a groove, then I'm gonna have to go to the next one in this uh, cartridge and see what horrors will befall me. So far, that was, I should have, uh, you know, let the skateboard go under that. That's how you get those bonus points. It's like I don't even want to set a high score. Look at that, I'm grabbing the coin midair. I wish I could figure out the ramps, but maybe they are literally just bait or bugged. One of the two. Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna ruin some points for you there. Right at the end, too. No one ever said I knew how to stick the landing. This is genuinely nice, you know. After a couple weeks of relative turmoil. I'll put it this way, you never feel good when you try to turn on your computer and it's just like literally blue screen repeating over and over. There was no escape from it. I had no choice but to just completely reinstall Windows and then plug in, you know, then plug in the headphones and realizing, oh, no audio, and then reaching down for the cable and feeling, ah, oh, yep, the head somehow got bent. At least I have a nifty uh, set of headphones where you can just buy a replacement cable, it's detachable, so I got that going for me. But yes, if, if you've been one of the mighty few who has uh, been watching this channel, I can do nothing but thank you heartily. You know, obviously, it's just fun for myself, but you add in that little bonus of being able to do it for people and make somebody's day brighter. That's... That's, that just brings it to the next level, right? And just as I thought, now that I'm finally getting my grasp on this uh, mode, it's uh, time for the next, so we're just gonna... 
Can I, like, start and select and get out of here? Nope. I'm just gonna have to game over right here. We gotta check out the next game mode, you know? <laughs> really yeeted ourselves that time. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Game is like, what are you doing? You were doing so well. We still set a high score, even with that intentional... ...botch at the end. But, okay, now... We gotta check out, uh, Big Wave Encounter. So I get to relearn it all over again. We're gonna play as this, like, gorilla dude. I think this is the guy on the, uh, cover art, so you obviously gotta play as him, you know? Alright. Now, bear with me here. Okay. I made some points, and then I fell off my surfboard. I don't know what the controls are. <laughs> so, I have a feeling that this is going to be predominantly based upon rhythm. Okay. Obviously, doing nothing at all doesn't get you anywhere. This could be a little more rough. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough game to grade if, like, one of these games winds up being awful, and another one winds up being okay. I don't know, man. Okay, so what do we do here? I stayed on it for a little bit longer, but that wasn't... it wasn't what I needed. We, we, we still get devoured by the wave. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be traveling that direction or not. <laughs> I have a strong feeling we're not supposed to be ejecting ourselves to the left immediately. Alright, monkey man. We're gonna make something happen here. That's... that's not it. That's not how you make something happen. See, again, points. We're, we're, we're just kind of arbitrarily getting points and then falling off into the distance. Well, that's the longest we've survived by, you know, like, what, two seconds? Yeesh! Okay, so put yourself in the programmer's shoes. If you're making a surfing video game for the NES, what are you gonna do to try to make it make sense? <laughs> I don't know. That's the end. Do A and B even do anything at this point? We got, uh, we got 300 points. See, we're, we're the absolute best. I don't think A and B do anything at all. Am I supposed to get on top of the wave somehow? Is that it? I, 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 I for some reason, doubt that. Yeah, no, if we go too high up, then we die. If we go too low, we die. If we stay in the middle, we die. At least I'm assuming that we're dying here. I mean, bananas, sure, but... You know what? I'm gonna take one small second to peruse the manual, because... Watching me do this for 20 minutes is not going to be good content, so give me just one second here. So it turns out I wasn't really missing much. A and B control your balance forward and your balance backwards, but it looks like either way it's going to be a uh, rough time. <laughs> That's the longest we've stayed alive in one go. I don't know though, is... <laughs> Maybe this is where people's bad memories of this game start to come in a little heavier here, because I... I genuinely can't for the life of me figure out what is going on here. <laughs> it's just, uh... Oh, 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 oh. That was... 
the most I've stayed on it so far, but I'm, 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 you know, <laughs> I still don't feel particularly great about it. The game looks pretty nice, though, honestly. Like, reasonable details. Yes. Come on, town and country. What do you want from me here? Am I supposed to, like, tap A and B, or...? <laughs> the manual honestly doesn't help at all. It's like, yeah, the, uh, these are the buttons. Uh, just, uh, just do it, obviously. So, unfortunately, <laughs> this is the content you're getting, but maybe, maybe you yourself owned this game as a child. We're gonna play as the cat this time, see if we get any more luck with him. Maybe you yourself played this as a child and you saw I had to play it and you thought, ha 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 ha, he has no idea. Oh! I almost felt like... I could have accomplished something for a second there. Again, I'm like, what am I missing? Oh, I stayed... I stayed alive. Still getting eaten up though. I can't tell you. I can't tell you because I don't know. By the way, this dude surfing in a tuxedo. I can't even be upset. Maybe with enough repetition. And enough failure, my mind will eventually wrap itself around what I'm witnessing right here. Let's try the monkey once again. Monkey man, it's your time to shine. Yeah, nah, nah, stupid tubers. Now, as a surfing aficionado myself, you know, living in Minnesota and all that, uh, if there's one thing that drives me nuts, it's inner tubers when I'm trying to get my surf on, you know what I'm saying? It's- I can't stay up! I can't- <laughs> I can't gain altitude. What? Oh, I, I I finished it somehow. I don't know how. I don't know what. And it's it seems to all be a uh, kind of abstract game of momentum. Come on, come on. No. I don't know. <laughs> the second that I think I'm getting a grip. I'm like, well, yes, but actually, no. Now I'm just having the worst time ever with it, you know? <laughs> Genuinely, uh... Give this game a try for yourself. It's... It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. And yet, there will be so many worse games. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong, this, uh, this is not a bottom five game, even with my lack of understanding and how to play it. 
I'm not gonna be like, in defense of town and country, I think it was actually really good. No, there's, there's none of that going on here, I'm just, you know... What happens if I reach full yin-yang here? Do I get, uh... The surf god powers? I don't know how to play this game! <laughs> uh, but apparently I do know how to play this game, actually, so... Just to uh, keep your little smart alecky remarks to yourself, you're looking at a uh, town and country wood and water rage golden god here. I'm like, when when do you lean back? When do you lean forward? I don't know how the A and B button play into this here. I know that if I don't use them, I just die instantly, but I also don't know how to effectively use them to, you know, not die. I'm just kind of in this hellscape of having no idea what to do one way or the other. Speaking of a hellscape, Brown's lost to the Jets today, so that was something. For those of you who are, uh, don't watch football, the Jets have uh, only won one other game the entire season. Now, to be fair, the Browns did not have any of their regular starting wide receivers, and half of their starting offensive line was missing. So, you can't be too surprised. But it still hurts, you know? That dude! They put him right there on purpose. Now, okay. You know, I was already, you know, uh unsure about your game, and now you're throwing piranhas in the, into the mix, and I, uh... I'm totally lost now. Who enjoys this game? There's gotta be someone out there who enjoys this game! I don't know who they are or what's wrong with them. Oh, I know, I'm making it sound like it's way worse than it is. I'm, I've somehow stumbled my way into round four, and make no mistake, I have no clue <laughs> how I have made it this far. I don't know how to play this game, so, uh... Making it anywhere is an absolute shocker. My god. That's, you know, that's not gonna help your case any. It seems like if I can just, like, push forward and make a good lunge, and then just kind of, like, barely stay alive, I'll eventually make it to some kind of finish through sheer dumb luck. Like, look at that! Look at that! I, I, I again, I don't know how I managed it, <laughs> but I'm in round five. <laughs> well, boy, if you stuck around after the uh, sad first few attempts, then boy, you're uh, you're, you're getting the comeback story of a lifetime right here. Can I beat the high score? Well, not if I lose two yin yangs at a time, that's for sure. That's... That's, that's just rude, honestly. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I understand a little bit. Gotta just make little... tight rotations. Oh no, that was not tight enough. Oh, there we go. Piranha got us. We beat the high score, though! <laughs> In a game that I have no idea how to play. And I'm not- I'm not just, like, dram dramatizing it either. Like, I am just kind of hitting buttons and hoping that I can achieve something here. It's... 
it's a true masterpiece of uh, arcane design. And we haven't even played any of the Ultima games yet. Yes. I'm, oh, come on. Now that, that just sucks all together, you know, when a little piranha comes up and, and just knocks you off your board. Even if you know what you're doing, you hate that. Try Catman again. I mean, I prefer the ape, you know. He, he he seems to be a little more in tune with the waves, but uh... <laughs> that's proven right there. You know, we did effectively nothing. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is this is. Uh... They tried. <laughs> I can't even say that this is, like, a no-effort game, because it, it certainly feels like they tried to make a genuine surfing game here. I'm not sure if that makes me happier or more upset. <laughs> no. It makes me happier, you know. I, I love to just be optimistic about video games. That's how I'm a cyberpunk, you know. Going back on X, I feel like I just barely touched it. I've got so much to say about it. There's so many people where, you know, again, they're rightfully upset by the bugs and the state that it came in. And maybe I'm only like this because I'm playing it on the Series X where it runs actually pretty well. But I, it's... It's not bad. Like, the game that exists there that is playable is fun. It's well thought out. Once you, you know, get, like, max level and quick hacking, you just become an absolutely unstoppable... God. <laughs> and it's incredibly satisfying, it's... I get the frustrations with the bugs. I don't get the frustrations with the people being like, It's just not a good game at all! I'm like... I disagree. Maybe because... I spend a good portion of my time playing games like Town and Country Surf Design. Like, I, I have a feeling that doing these loops is a big part of success, but I can't do them well enough. I have a feeling that I gotta learn how to lean a little bit better. If I, if, if I were to, like, you know, get a rundown from a wood and water rage, uh, expert. <laughs> Just kind of get told, this is what's up, man. This is what you need to do to achieve perfection in Town and Country Surf Design's Wood and Water Rage. It's such a lengthy title, too. It's like, dang, dude, I know you need the, uh, the branding there, or else, you know, what's the point? But, man. I think... You get slightly different color palettes depending on the character that you choose, which is a completely superficial change, but it is a change. So if you prefer green fishies, play this Radical Catman. If you like to have fun with your video games... <laughs> maybe you can still find some life here. <laughs> it's awful. So, my assumption is that the third game type, Wood and Water Rage, is gonna just straight up be a combination of the two games. That is what I'm guessing. I could be wrong, but... It seems to make sense. <laughs> you know... I'm admittedly not trying because it's almost at that 40 minute mark. At the 40 minute mark, we gotta switch to Wooden Water Rage, so it may as well just, uh, you know, dunk it here. <laughs> Look at that. Impressive moves. 
Can we, like, jump up and, like, touch the planes? Is that a thing that it allows? See, now that I'm trying to die, it's, 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 it's just... I keep gaining health too quick. <laughs> Just get me back to the main menu, man. I need to play the third game. Oh, that's a thing you can do. What? I have finally found out how to tame this dang game. Now, okay, well, that's that's awful. I knew it. I knew once I was done with this portion, I would kind of figure out what you're supposed to do, and I did. Oh. <laughs> I'm mildly upset. If we- we'll see if we can, um, you know... Incorporate that into the wood and water rage portion, which I- I believe- yes, this is just mashing the two up. Okay, think about your training. Think about what you've done to get to this point, man. Don't- don't forget how to play this part of the game. Some things never change, you know, that- uh, <laughs> That- Come on. <laughs> I'd like to not instantly biff it on the easier part of the game. It's, uh, you know, I'm not putting up a convincing performance, I'll be the first to admit. We gotta at least make it to the end, right? Easy. Now, I, I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna have to do some water next, right? That makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. So, watch this. We go up, and we hold B. Yeah, and then we go up here again, and we hold B. up and we hold B and then we somehow stay in. I'm still not doing this like exactly as I should be. But I'm staying alive, you know, like it's gotta count for something. <sighs> On the verge of uh surfer death. The bird doesn't count. That's that's just That's filth right there. And then I knew that we'd end it there. Look at that. Pretty impressive, am I right? So now we know why it's called Wood and Water Rage. I hate the ramps more than anything, because the ramps just functionally don't work. <laughs> I cannot be kind to something that just straight up doesn't work. Unless, again, they aren't ramps and I'm just uh, parsing them incorrectly in my head. It's possible, but, uh, you know, they look pretty rampy to me if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, things are, things are looking good. The wood part, I got no problems, except, you know, I only barely made it. <laughs> and that, if, uh, round one, we'll call it the qualifier. Dude, he's so cool, look at him. His pompadour and his glasses. Yeah, the, uh, pompadour man, ape, definitely the dream team. If you don't go with these guys, do you even want to be cool? I didn't... okay. <laughs> I was all like, I figured the game out, guys! Do that. And the game just tells me, you have not figured anything out, man. I just, I just wanna get up on, I just wanna get on top of that wave, you know? Ride it a little properly. Yeah, 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 that's a proper ride. Ooh, barely! <laughs> I'm it that helps with the consistency of passing it, but I'm clearly still missing 
the final element. The fifth element. I don't know how many elements I'm missing. I haven't put it all together yet, but it's improving. Hey, you know, maybe it's because of expectations, but this is not as bad as I was expecting. Not at all. It's, it's not that great of a game, obviously, but... <laughs> for the kind of bile that I've heard, people. Uh, kind of things that I've heard people say about this game, I'll just keep my words simple. I was expecting something far worse than this. I was expecting, like, Ikari Warrior <laughs> levels. Oh no, we have another Ikari Warriors game coming up in the future. I'm not looking forward to that at all. Oh, shh. Yet. It's alright. Don't focus on the terrible future. Focus on the mediocre present. That's, uh, that's what I say, you know, that's my, uh... <laughs> it's my advice to everybody for when you just really want to <laughs> feel like the world is totally okay. I've noticed, um, the Master System videos. They, uh, pretty much consistently get more views than the NES videos, which has... I guess... In a way, it's surprising, and in another way, it makes sense to me. Because, you know, the Master System... Not nearly as popular. So I guess the part that makes sense there is that, you know, people, they might look it up and they might be like... I don't know anything about the Master System. And being that so few people cover it... It's just kind of, you know, the laws of being a uh, small fish in a small pond, whereas NES, everybody talks about the NES, you know, it's, okay, well, that, <laughs> there goes our run right there. Uh, but everybody talks about the NES, so when you cover an NES game, it's like, wow, congratulations, you're the 800th person to do that, but you feel real special. So I do feel special, actually. We'll give it another go, because we're obligated to for another 13 minutes or so. It's no Mega Man. Heck, it's, it's... It's not even gun smoke. Gotta figure out how to avoid that ball. That ball... It gets me every time. But, uh, you know, compared to where I started, definite improvements in this game. At least on a personal level. The game itself is still, you know got some, uh, problems it has to sort out with itself. I think I typically tend to show improvement, though, in these videos, uh... And that's part of the gimmick, you know? It's like, oh, an hour, that's a long video. It's like, well, yeah, but in the context of a whole video game... That can range from we've seen beating the game to being almost nothing. All right, my favorite. I love the water. I love running into the birds, you know? Who cares about, you know, getting, uh... sucked into the waves? Birds, that's your true arch-nemesis as a surfer. I... was so certain that that one was gonna... <laughs> intercept me and nail me right in the head. What can I say? It's that simple. Ask me what- ask me how I did it. I personally don't know. Alright, my boy. He's ready to score some Mondo points here. Check him out. <laughs> you expect it, you know? <laughs> it's just kind of... part of me at this point. You know, uh, I was gonna say, the utmost concentration, and then I... Just eat it. 
This isn't quite how you score Mondo points, you know. We're getting some okay points at best. Although, I'll tell you one thing, this is far from what what's going to be the worst skateboarding game on the NES. Skateboarding on the NES is a match uh, that is historically kind of made in hell. <laughs> Very few passable skateboarding games on the system. And we're talking a system with a lot of games! See, like this? I don't know if I'm playing this properly. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. It happens to work sometimes, so, you know, I just, uh... I say, uh, Jesus take the wheel, and then we sometimes win. No! We were so close to the finish line. That's okay, that's okay. We'll just, yeah, we'll just slide right in there. Missed out on, you know, maybe like 100 points or something like that. Big deal! May this be a lesson to me, you know, don't don't just sit there and dread the next game on the list. It might not be as awful as everyone makes it out to be. I think by the end of this, here's my hot take. And obviously this is early speculation. I think I'm gonna find that LJN had a considerably worse reputation than they deserved. Not to say that they're a quality publisher. But I think, when all is said and done, should I ever complete this series, <laughs> I'm gonna look back and I'll say, they weren't that awful. Again, don't don't mistake not that awful for meaning good. <laughs> we don't live in a world of absolutes where it's either, you know, the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. Probably on the lower half of publishers, don't get me wrong, but it's... So far, come on. Jaws is playable. And this game is... Well, once you... If you ever figure out the surfing, you could argue that this game is fairly playable too. It's a new high score, if nothing else, so... Gosh! It's, I'm really getting sucked into that wave at, at round six. This is definitely the brick wall. Got some bonus points there, but, you know. I, I also don't like how sometimes you lose one health, sometimes you lose two. I, there's likely a reason for it, and I just don't know what it is. <clears throat> but no, Jaws was playable. This game is playable. Uh, the Karate Kid was awful, I'll give you that. <laughs> but even then, it filled me with determination. Okay, we avoided the ball that time. Don't know how, but we did. Look at this. We're running a tight course this time here. Don't miss that one, of course, but that ball gets me a lot as well. You'd think I'd remember it's there at this point, but bah. who am I really trying to impress here? Oh, wait. Viewers like you. This is PBS, man. You fuel this content. You fuel it with your eyes. So what am I doing? I'm falling flat on my face repeatedly, quite literally. In an attempt to uh, coax you to tune in a little bit more. It's a bold strategy. But... It may just work. Alright. It really is a tale of two games, honestly, because that skateboarding part, despite being repetitive, because it's only one layout, <laughs> it is actually pretty fun. This portion is just... it's... so questionable. See, what? What can you do about that? That's my number one public enemy in NES games. Enemies that, uh... 
just kind of annihilate you, and, and there's nothing that you can do to mitigate it. Like, what do you do? What do you do about that? It spawned while I was already in the air. You couldn't just say, oh, we'll just jump a little bit later. Nah, man, it was already there! By, all, by already there, I mean I was already in the air by the time it went... <coughs> Pathetic birds. So, uh, yeah. What's in store for us now? More of the same, really. Don't know if I've ever heard anybody define this. Ambitious title. Unless you want to pull the whole. Oh, it's the birth of extreme sports, though. Is it? Does skiing count as extreme sports? Because if so, slalom's got to be. And, uh, oh, Winter Sports. Yeah, there you go. Winter Sports has got a beat. That game was really bad, though. So... You know, I don't know how much that really counts. No, no, no. A game being bad does not discredit it from being the first. It's, it's absolute tomfoolery, you know. Can I just, like, stay up there? Yeah, we'll just repeat- Oh, I was gonna say, I, we'll just repeat it over and over, but, you know, then... <laughs> the vocalist for Hate Beak comes out and annihilate, not, annihilates you. I've never heard of Hate Beak. It's not very good music, but it's, uh, it's death metal instrumentation with a distorted parrot squawking over it. So yes, a bird is literally the vocalist. As a piece of novelty music, you could do worse. As a piece of legitimate death metal, it's pretty bad. But come on, it's, who cares about raw quality when you're talking about novelty music, you know? Well, darn. Biffed that one super early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just regenerate a little bit of health here. Get us into a reasonable place. <laughs> that ball! Every time with that ball. I just consider it, you know, an opportunity to get 500 more points. <laughs> we're, we're truly making lemonade out of lemons right now. I don't get that either. It's like, oh, when life gives you lemons, it's like, what's wrong with lemons? They're a uh, perfectly fine fruit. You know, I know very few people who can just sit down and eat one as is, but uh, clearly people enjoy lemons. You know, we have lemon lime soda. We have lemon pepper chicken. Lemon bars, like... This whole lemon slander, it seems like a kind of unnecessary thing that we as a culture have perpetuated. Oh, and life gives you lemons, am I right? Maybe I'm fine with lemons, have you considered that? Maybe I actively want those lemons, so if life gives me lemons, bring it on. Shave off their skins, make myself a pleasant little, uh... No, oh, man. Round six, am I right? Shave off their, uh, you know, peel. It's not called a peel. I think, I think it's just skin. But you know what I mean, you, you add it to something, you make a lemon zest. Maybe you don't want to make- Ah, the fish! You're gonna lose two? Yeah, we lost two. Well, that's, that's that, you know? We, uh, we, we couldn't beat our old high score. And we're just gonna call it there, you know? We, oof. No sense in playing 20 more seconds of this game just for the sake of playing it. You know, like I said, it's not the worst thing that I've ever touched. It's far from the best thing that I've ever touched. It's, it's uh, probably better than Winter Games, though. <laughs> ah, I don't know about that, though. I don't know. I'll have to mull it over for a little while. Either way, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to bring you such 
excellent offerings as town and country surf designs wood and water rage <laughs> i hope that you join me next time where we have a fairly uh, unique little title uh titled dragon power it's something else in other regions if you already know you already know and if you don't take a guess as to what dragon power may have been outside of the u.s i will confirm that with you when next i show up which hopefully will be tomorrow barring any kind of additional catastrophe on my computer's end i'll still be coming at you again a little bit later today with a master system episode but for now thank you so much for whoop, whoop. thank you so much for joining me again we'll see you next time